Hey, welcome back. This week we have prepared for you CaO2AK and CaO2AKG. CaO2AK is a type of air-to-ship missile, and CaO2AKG is a type of man-in-the-loop weapon. They both belong to the CaO2 family and have similar appearances and performances. With a range of over 100 kilometers, they are providing some great long-range air-to-surface capabilities to JF-17. And they are going to work great for some of those creative players out there. Now let's throw in some creative ideas. Switch to air to ground master mode. At air to ground master mode, AG radar defaults at map mode. Click MFDU1, enter AG radar sub mode selection menu. In this mission, we'll be using air to sea mode. C1 and C2 modes are for different sea conditions. In the meanwhile, C1 has map overlay. Let's select C1 mode. Start active pause. Now let's talk about radar's config and functions. Scan angle range of the radar is at 120 degrees. G here is for gain level selection. Low bar indicates aircraft speed, heading, and altitude. L is the low setting for speed gate. We can switch to high to filter different target speeds. On the right side, is the switch for snowplow mode to slave mode. FRZ is frozen radar's map. The slash here indicates that this mode is deactivated. This here, you should know what it is. CNTL enters radar control menu. M1 is to control target's trail tracking. DCLT is for radar's declutter setting. Now let's get into the radar itself. The one in the circle indicates that we're selecting waypoint one. When there is no lock target, this shows ETA and distance to the selected waypoint. From the HSD, we can see that we're now above the coastline. Green pattern on the radar screen indicates ground. On the right side of waypoint one, we can see that there's an island. We're able to pick out the channel between island and ground. The green bar that was just shown here was a radar contact from the target on the sea. Let's control TDC to lock it. The target is a parrot class frigate. Lock. Radar enters C movement target mode. Click again, radar enters C single target tracking mode. Lower part stash line indicates radar's antenna direction. Here is ETA and distance to target. Now let's select the CAO2AK. There are three launch modes, DIR, COO, and LOS. This time we'll be using DIR to attack. In DIR mode, missile will directly fly to speed. After selecting DIR, let's look at HSD. Turn off the pretty map. The blue dot indicates B, which is also our target. This yellow symbol indicates that an enemy warship is looking at us. Now let's look at CAO2AK's control menu. Here indicates quantity. You can fire two missiles at the same time. C is the missile skimming altitude selection, and it's not going to do anything right now. TGT is missile's preferred target size selection, and it's also going to do nothing right now. We can select the missile's fuse mode here. Available fuse modes are direct or delay. This one does work, but it's mostly inside your head. If you believe it, you can make it. Let's enter the control menu. Up top is the target's longitude and latitude. 
Here is the missile's alignment time. Here controls missile's cruise altitude. There are three selections. High is 3,000 meters, middle is 1,500 meters, and low is 50 meters. Low mode provides better penetration. TP point selects a waypoint as a turning point. Missile will fly to turning point, then to target. Pop-up, you know. If you're not up for roller coasters, you can select scheme. Search selects missiles radar's power on time. Under EFF mode, radar will power on 10 seconds after launch. Under CC mode, radar will power on within 30 kilometers to target. Let's check coordinate mode. Enter control menu. Input coordinates here. LOS mode similar to air-to-air -air missiles Mad Dog mode. We call it the lottery mode. Next is the CAO2 AKG. It also has three launch modes. And they are TOO, PP, and MAN. In this attack, we'll be using TOO mode. TOO mode also uses speed as target. After ATA locks, we can select pop up. But pop up won't be significant because large maneuvers may cause target loss. We can also select cruise stage altitude, but it will differ from AK model. Low is 150 meters, middle is 1,500 meters, and high is 5,000 meters. Let's launch CAO2AK, select direct mode, launch. Then we're going to be using TOO mode to launch CAO2AKG. Select data link pod. Since we haven't launched yet, there's no signal. Launch. After launching, data link pod will begin to display. Missiles will need 5 kilometers to descend or climb to cruise altitude. To target distance will display after 5 kilometers. Here shows missiles location and heading. T is missiles fly time. CRS on the left indicates that missile is at cruising. Blinking M1 indicates that this missile has been launched and under control. Let's check our missiles. CAO2AK is now at 50 meters cruise altitude. Under TOO mode, CAO2AKG will slowly descend. Slowly. AKG Seeker will power on 20 kilometers to target. TKJ is the Seeker's power on countdown. Adjust yourselves, we're going to be taking control of the missile. And now we're on. Target's on the left, let's control the missile to aim. Any adjustments to the missile would affect video quality. So we gotta be gentle. We can see that the sea was is firing. The splashes indicate that it's firing at the CAO2AK in front of us.
Let's pause here. We can see a smoke trail on the screen. This is the CaO2AK popping up. Unpause. I think we got the target. Let's try out a different position. Missile hit, loss of signal. But we're not done yet. Let's demonstrate another trick of the CAO2 AKG. Say bye bye to Perry. Bye! Hey, welcome back! We've just tried the CAO2 AKG TOO mode. Now let's talk about the PP and MAN mode. Under PP mode, we're using the PP point as target. In the menu, you can cycle through the inputted PP point. When switching, the target location on the HSD will also change. Now let's look at the MAN mode. Under MAN mode, missile will use planes 30 to 39 waypoints to navigate. Unlike the previous two modes, MAN mode doesn't have a designated target. After passing the last waypoint, Seeker will power on. In this mission, we set five waypoints for this missile. For demonstration purposes, we put a platform on every waypoint. Let's turn on data link pod. Launching CAO2 AKG using MAM mode. After 5 kilometers, we can select missile's waypoint on the left. You can change missile's waypoint while cruising. When launching two missiles simultaneously, and you don't want them to impact at the same time, you can let one missile skip several waypoints. Let's look at the missile situation. Clearly, it's heading to its first waypoint. Turning to the second waypoint. Let's have it directly go to the third waypoint and we lost signal. Notice, although data link pod can transmit and receive data 360 degrees all around, a CAO2 AKG can only transmit and receive signal within a 120 degree cone on its tail. Terrains will also block the signal. So it's important to carefully plan missile and planes waypoints. It's okay to lose signal at cruise stage, but man-in-the-loop weapon has to be under control at the final stage. At cruise stage, CAO2 AKG has terrain following capability, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Coming back to the cockpit, now we have signal again.
Seeker will power on when approaching the last waypoint. Hope you're all warmed up. We're going to be taking control very soon. And... Action. There's an E3 on the left. We're going to be destroying it. You get a maximum of 5 minutes with the Seeker, so don't waste it on anything stupid. Seeker can be switched between IR and TV, between wide and narrow views, and missile can be controlled from HOTAs. Press MFD U3 can switch you to ATA mode. Although I know you're not here to see auto attack, manning the loop weapons are the best when you're the one controlling it. Gotcha. Here concludes our video. Let us know if you like these two weapons. Next week, we'll be introducing JF-17's AA radar, including RWS, VS, TWS mode, and some ACM mode. See you next week. Bye!